Hello? Can you see me? I'm over here. No, over here. Wrong again. I'm over here. It's easy to get lost in here. Today, our Dare to Compare tour takes us to the HLC. That's the smallest way to describe the Houston Logistics Center. The HLC is huge. You know what? Maybe it's even larger than huge. Let me just apologize in advance if you hear my echo in here. Now, after products leave the assembly line at the manufacturing facilities, they are shipped here to the Houston Logistics Center. It's one gigantic warehouse that contains air conditioners, heat pumps, air handlers, gas furnaces, and packaged products. Let's see if we can find John Green. John is the director of logistics here at the Houston Logistics Center. I just hope he's not too far away. Here he is. Hi, John. How you doing, Mark? Real good. Nice. Hey, John, would you tell us a bit more about the Houston Logistics Center? Uh, sure. This building's 720,000 square feet. It's uh, got 145 dock doors. We have over 400 trailer parking locations. Wow, that is gigantic. Yeah, it certainly is. During peak season, we'll receive and ship about 250 trailers per day. Boy, that must be really hard to keep track of. We use PKMS to manage our inventory. That's our warehouse management system. It's tied and connected with their ERP Mapix, and every unit is scanned every step along the way. It's scanned when it's manufactured. It's scanned when it's loaded in manufacturing. It's scanned when it's received here. It's scanned when it's put away. It's scanned when it's counted. It's scanned when it's picked, and it's scanned when it's loaded. And that's the system we use to track every serial number in the building. So could I give you a number, and could you find uh, you know, an exact package? I mean, they, like, could you take me right to it right now? Oh, sure. I mean, everything's tracked at the serial number level. So we're not just looking at is this type of unit or style of unit in the building. We're actually looking at this serial number in that right location. Wow, that sounds really, really accurate. I'm going to have to ask you to prove that for me. Let's go do it. Okay. John, we've been walking for a while. Are we almost there? We are almost there. Actually, just a few more locations to go. You've got two different tags here, so what's the difference in the two tags? Okay, this first tag is the serial number tag. This tag's tied to this unit. It tells you what the unit is and also the serial number, and that serial number's on the actual serial plate on the unit. Uh, this tag here is a license plate tag used by Logistics, and we use this tag for our scanning, and it's in order to take uh, what we call a two-pack or a four-pack units that are tied together in the same pack quantity and to be able to just hit all those serial numbers in one scan. So we can receive and ship by scanning one time and capture those serial numbers to tie it to the location above. Okay, so we're here. We've been able to find the package that we want. How do we get it out of here? How do we ship this to where we need it to be? For us, everything starts with order services. And order services is looking at nightly sales and inventory. They take the data we have for all our 900 plus sales locations across the country. They run everything through a program called AMAX, which tries to cube the trucks together and tries to route the trucks together. Our job in order services is to ship to as many locations as we can as frequently as we can. The more frequent we replenish our customers, the better their in-stock levels are. And really, you know, for logistics, the most important thing is in-stock levels and cycle time. So once they determine where they're going to ship the product and how they want to build those trucks, they'll drop that to the operations group, and we're normally shipping that within 24 hours. This location may have heat pumps today. It may have furnaces tomorrow. We actually, you know, we have a lot of inventory here, and obviously we can hold close to about 300,000 serialized pieces of equipment in the building. But, you know, over the course of a season, you'll see that inventory turning very frequently. We'll ship it very frequently. Uh, you know, 13 sear condensers, heat pumps like this. During peak season, they'll be in and out of the building in less than a week. And again, any order that we get, we'll have that order shipped typically that next day. Folks, you need to see this place to appreciate its size. It's enormous. Now, I've been here most of the day, and there are still lots of places I haven't seen yet. Well, I hope you've enjoyed our Dare to Compare tour of the HLC, the Houston Logistics Center. Let's hope I can find my way back to the car. I think it's, no, it's not over there, I know that. Let's see, this is gonna take a while. You know what, I think I left it around this corner. Yeah, pretty sure about that. 
Now, I'm gonna need a GPS here. Can someone help me, please? This is gonna take all day. Maybe I could get one of these guys to give me a ride.